requested so uh, I've got my gum and I'm gonna have a little ramble about you might have guessed Spider-Man 3 
was Marco Flint. And so you have Spider-Man in the black suit go after Flint and well, again he's it's a, it's a changed person when he's got the black suit on. You know, he's more lustful for revenge and beats him. Doesn't actually kill him, but he does beat him. Um, meanwhile, um, Harry ends up getting his memory back and remembering as well. So he has a fight with Peter Parker, who again is still taken over by this sort of alien black goo thing alien black goo thing I used to be an English teacher I was really good at it too and um, he ends up having a fight with Harry and when Harry throws one of the bombs at him you know those little bombs Peter grabs it and throws it back and it goes off disfiguring Harry's face meanwhile there's a new photographer called Eddie Brock and J. Jonah Jameson is about to give him a job at the Daily Bugle when everyone sort of protests because Peter's been there a lot longer than he has he says okay then whoever gets me the first picture of Spider-Man committing some crime will get the job and what Brock does is doctors a photo and makes it look like Spider-Man was actually robbing a bank when he wasn't Peter Parker then sort of exposes him and then he gets fired well not fired but he so J. Jonah Jameson tells him to get out like humiliating him, you know. Then Spider-Man in the black suit goes to this church and this bell is ringing and the alien doesn't like noise so it starts slowly reacting to the noise and then Peter Parker rips off the black suit. It then falls landing on Grenade. 
grenades in there, one of the bombs blows it up. Moments before Peter was about to be impaled because um, Venom had the glider. But instead, Harry jumps in front of Peter and gets impaled instead. Um, there's a really sad scene where, like, you know, Harry's laying there and, you know, telling him how much he loves, you know, him and Mary Jane and everything. And, um, and he dies. It's really, really sad. Um, then, um, Spider-Man speaks to Flint Marco who was the Sandman and he then explains to him that what had happened is he was coming out of the um, that club that night and he was talking to Uncle Ben who was persuading him to put the gun down and give up when the other guy ran and sort of bumped into Marco and the gun just accidentally went off so he'd never really murdered him in cold blood as such um, and he was only doing it to get money for his daughter who had uh, an illness and was trying to cure her um, so Spider-Man forgives him and then Flint goes on his way it's a really good film guys a lot of people didn't like it um, and I guess it's not as good as the first two but I really really love it I enjoy it. I love all three of them if I'm honest um, absolutely fantastic film um, and I do really love the original three you know those three the sort of Sam Raimi ones Yeah, they're all they're sort of very special to me, but yeah, an absolutely brilliant film, guys. Um, okay, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I will be back tomorrow. But in the meantime, have yourselves.